Hello, everybody. Yeah, it's another vlog. Big surprise. Again, I am sorry that I have not been uh, updating very much, but again, this is my last semester in college, and I've had to devote a lot of my time and energy to just getting through these last few classes, preparing for graduation, uh, finishing up uh, my final papers for my creative writing degree and things like that. So once I've graduated and things have settled down a little bit, I will be returning to a, a much more stable production schedule, I hope. But until then, uh, this vlog is to tide you over until the next review, because uh, I've got a whole lot of stuff here that I've been amassing over the past month or so. So I figured, why not do another pickup video, because we've got a lot of stuff to go through here. But before we get to uh, uh, my new acquisitions, I I don't know if you can hear that, but my cat's been uh, sleeping on my Atari 2600 for some reason. Um, but yeah, uh, the announcement that I want to make is uh, next week on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday... Uh, I will be going to Anime Boston, uh, located, I believe, in Boston, Massachusetts. Uh, my otaku club from college and I are going down there for, uh, for the weekend. It's going to be a great time, and if you happen to be in the uh, Massachusetts area and you happen to see me there, feel free to say hi, and uh, I would like to meet anybody who's, who's been watching my show. God knows there are so many of you out there. Um, but yeah, if you see me there, just come up and say hi. I'll probably be in the dealer's room most of the, most of the time, but yeah, so, uh, that's, that's where I'll be next Friday. And, uh, okay, so now to get to the, uh, meat and gravy of this, I have been collecting a lot of stuff. Uh, I guess we'll start with the, uh, more recent games that I've gotten. Uh... Only really picked up two two recent games. Uh, the first one being Rayman Origins, which, if you get a chance, pick this up because it is a, a really fantastic game. I've been having a lot of fun with it. It's a great throwback to classic platformers, and it's got a, a really good sense of humor, though uh, the story doesn't really make much sense, what little there is of a story in the game. And the other one that I picked up is... Skylanders for the PS3, and I only picked up the PS3 version because that was the last one in the store. It was uh, sort of a spur-of-the-moment purchase because I knew if I didn't get it then, I probably would never get a chance to uh, to pick it up just because there have been so many shortages of this and the, and the uh, action figures, which I've got quite a few of them in the background over there, but I'm not going to bother showing you all of them, because I think by now all of you know what a Skylanders figure looks like, and if you've watched that filler video I did a while, ab a while ago, you, uh, you saw that I had uh, a few figures already. <clears throat> Pardon me. So, uh, with that out of the way, let's get to some peripherals that I picked up. The uh, local game store near my college was having a sale on uh, older peripherals, so I picked up two or three of them. I picked up a power pad. I got this for about ten dollars. I'm not. I haven't had a chance to see if it works yet because uh, I I just don't have room in this in this place to set down a dance pad right now. Uh, let's see. And I picked up two joysticks, which were about five dollars each. I picked up the uh, the NES Quick Shot, which has some of the most annoying sounds ever. Hang on, let me see if I can unravel this a little bit. Yeah. Listen to that. It's about as annoying as somebody putting a card in the spokes of their bike. And I also picked up uh, this. Uh, Mad Cat's... Joystick. Now, I'm not a big fan of Mad Cats as a company, mainly because the peripherals that I bought from them before have had a very bad track record. I've purchased a few controllers that broke down within the first month of me using them. So I'm hesitant to use this as little more than a display piece, but it is a cool addition. It's made for both uh, flying games and fighting games, and you know, 
It'll look good on the shelf, if nothing else. Can, can you tell I'm a rather frivolous person when it comes to, to games and peripherals? I bet you can. Okay, actual games, and we've got a lot to go through here, so let's start with uh, one that I got the least amount for. Um, Game Boy games. I, I really need to start building up my classic uh, handheld collection, because... I, I usually do not focus on it very much, and I find that uh, a lot of places online really overprice their their handheld games, so I haven't really uh, been collecting them that much. But I picked up three or so that were decently priced, a uh, few of them that I remember very much, uh, w very fondly from my childhood. The first one is uh, Kirby's Pinball Land, which I have never been very good at... Uh, at pinball games in any way, shape, or form, but that, it's Kirby, and I really like Kirby, and the, the other one that I got was also a pinball game, the original Pokemon Pinball, the kind that has the, the battery right up in here, uh, I, I always liked this one because I thought that the, the cartridge just looked awesome, personally. And the last one that I got, which unfortunately it came with a, a dead battery, backup, so it, it no longer saves data, and that's uh, the original Robopon, the Sun version, which, if you don't remember Robopon, it was one of those games that sort of, it got really big in Japan, but sort of floundered in the United States, and it was kind of trying to capitalize on the whole uh, creature-catching uh, phase that the original Pokemon started. This this was a time when, like, Dragon Warrior monsters came out, and Pokemon was out, and, and then Robopon followed up with it. There were a whole bunch of games just like this. Uh, Super Nintendo. Again, I got only a few of these, mostly because uh, I got all four of these in a single lot. None of them are very remarkable games, but they were games that I didn't have, so I might as well grab them while they were cheap. Uh... I got Super Battleship, which uh, I played Battleship when I was a kid. I played the board game version of it. And all I remember about the NES version is that it didn't have multiplayer, so I'm praying that this one actually does. I picked up a Wheel of Fortune. I thought... I used to watch that all the time when I was a kid, though I, I, I can't remember if it's still on air right now. I don't watch TV much anymore. And then I picked up two sports titles, NCAA Basketball and the NHL Stanley Cup, which, again, I'm not a big fan of sports games. I'll say right out, I really don't like sports games. I like arcade sports games, but actual sports games I'm not a big fan of. But again, they were in the lot, and I'm going to have to collect them sometime, so why not pick them up while they're cheap? Uh, let's see, what's next? Uh... NES games, let's go with that, shall we? I got a lot of NES games to show you. Hang on. Okay. Let's let's start it off. The first one I picked up mainly because I looked at it and the, the cover just looked awesome. And that's Karnov. Oh yes. He's a Russian with lots of aggression. Uh, picked up the original Ghouls and Ghosts. I'm a big fan of this series, though I've never managed to beat any of the games. Even the the, the newer ones, the Maximo games. I was, I was never able to finish those ones just because of their obscene difficulty. And next is, uh, not one, but two Sesame Street games. Ah, ah, ah. Yeah, I got Sesame Street 1, 2, 3, and ABC. And they're both basically like two or three games in one. Basic, basic kids games, but, you know, I was, I was a big fan of Sesame Street when I was a kid. I think most of us were. Uh, picked up, uh, Taito's Sky Shark and, uh, 3D World, Wa World Runner, which, uh, I can remember playing that one as a kid and being really confused by, by the name until I figured out what happens when you press select. Um... Picked up Anticipation, because I didn't have Anticipation. and uh, It's an okay game. It's it's not a very good game, but it's okay. Uh, then we have The Adventures of Bayou Billy. Um, this is one that I, I know was really famous for being really hard on the internet, but uh, 
I had never played or even heard of it until uh, un until I started picking it up at uh, at my local game store. Okay, let's grab another part of the stack here. Uh, picked up the original Gradius, and uh, kind of an odd choice for me because I have never been very good at shooter games either. Uh, I'm all right at them, but uh, there are very few shooter games that I've been able to beat that uh, that I didn't have cheat codes for. Uh, then we got Stinger, which some of you might remember Stinger as uh, as uh, Twinbee instead, and some of you might have also played it on the uh, the Xbox Live Arcade. Uh, Destination Earth Star, really confusing game. I I really don't have any idea how to play it right now. Uh, great game by Hal right here, Kabuki Quantum Fighter. If if you get a chance, I highly recommend this one. I think it's a bit of an overlooked platformer. Uh, same cannot be said for The Adventures of Tom Sawyer, which is a really crappy, crappy game. This is not like the 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 Famicom version at all. It's a uh, it's it's a really really broken platformer. Whereas the the Famicom version, I think, was an RPG. Uh, it got Dragon Power, which uh, most of you in the know will know that this was originally uh, Dragon Ball the game, which was released as as Dragon Ball in both Europe and Japan. But when they brought it over here, since Dragon Ball was not a very popular show at the time, they just renamed it Dragon Power and changed around all the names and stuff. Picked up Bad Dudes! Oh yeah! Don't don't that just look good? It's it's not good. Um, Ultima Quest for the Avatar. Now, I've been a really big fan of Spoonie's retrospective of uh, of the Ultima series, and that's basically what got me interested into it. Uh, I don't play a lot of PC games. I'll say that right off. But when I realized that a few of these games were on the NES, I started looking into it, and I found this one for like. Two or three dollars, I think. It was a really good deal for a for a game like that. No, we're we're not done with NES yet. Like I said, I picked up a lot of NES games recently. Uh, picked up the original Batman game. Of course, that's a classic. Uh, Captain Skyhawk again, one that I'm not really uh, I, I'm I'm not really familiar with it. It's made by Milton Bradley, so I'm kind of. Uh, on the fence about it. Hunt for Red October, great movie, frustrating game, and uh, severe lack of connery in the game. Uh, Adventures of Dino Ricky. Uh, now imagine my surprise when I got home, put this into my NES, and discovered that it was a vertical scrolling shooter with a caveman and dinosaur theme. Uh, the the generically named Demon Sword, <laughs> which it's all all right, um, very difficult to get the the hang of, but it's it's all right for the time it was made. I picked up the the triple pack here of uh, Super Mario Brothers Duck Hunt and World Class Track Meet. This actually came with the uh, with the uh, well, the power pad. Sorry. I blanked there for a second. This actually came with that, and uh, now I, I'm actually having trouble finding the uh, the individual carts for those. Um, it's real easy to find, like, the Super Mario Brothers Duck Hunt, but finding just Super Mario Brothers or just Duck Hunt is actually kind of difficult right now. Um, Mickey Mouse Capade. Now, I know that a lot of people don't like this game, I'm one of them, but uh, I I have a soft spot in my heart for for classic Mickey Mouse stuff. So, eh, picked it up, and um, good old Spy Hunter, a game that I was really good at when I was a kid, and a game that I am really crappy at now. I have no idea what happened, but I am really out of practice with this one. Uh, you're. Almost done. I'm, this is the last of the NES games I picked up, I, I promise. We've got Astyanax, uh, or however the hell you say that, I'm really not sure. Uh, fantasy game, kind of, kind of 